In this video, we'll show you how to set up G-Reminders so your clients can book appointments directly onto your Google or Outlook calendars. We'll also show you how to set up reminders so your clients will show up for their appointments. Starting from the G-Reminders main screen, under Scheduling on the menu on the left, select Event Types, then select Create My First Event Type. You can create one-on-one -on -one events, group events, and below you'll see round robin or altogether team events. For team events, click on the Teams menu and view the video on how to set up Teams. In this video, we'll set up a one-on-one -on -one event between you and your client. Start by creating a name for the event. Then include a short description. Under Location, you can include a physical address like your office or include one of the many online meeting applications that you can integrate with G Reminders, including Google Meet, Zoom, WebEx, GoToMeeting, Microsoft Teams, or Skype. In this example, we'll choose Google Meet. Under Event Bookings, select the calendar to create the event on, determine if you want a fixed duration for the event, or allow your client to choose the length of time, we indicated that this would be a 60-minute meeting, so we'll include that here. You can prevent meetings from being scheduled less than X hours away and add a buffer between meetings if you wish. You can let the system optimize your time for you or choose to have your meetings start on the hour, half hour, or quarter hour. You can also determine the maximum number of this type of event you will allow to be scheduled in a single day. Under Set Your Availability, choose the calendar to check your availability against. You can choose a default time range like 9 to 5, or use the advanced settings to narrow your availability by each day of the week. For example, if we have a standing luncheon we attend every Monday, we can set our availability from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Monday mornings, and then 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. in the afternoon. You can set up as many time slots as you need for each day of the week, keeping complete control of your calendar at all times. There are four default questions you can ask your clients during scheduling, but you can also include as many custom questions as you wish. We don't limit you. Each custom question will result in a custom variable being created that's associated with that question, which you'll see in just a moment. Under Invite Details, by default, your client will receive an invite to your event and it will appear on their Google or Outlook calendar. This is primarily for B2B clients. If you are a B2C business, you may wish to disable this feature and send a manual initial booking reminder instead. Under Event Title, you may wish to include the name of the event in the title. This can come in handy when setting up multiple event types. Under the event description, if you would like to include answers to your custom questions, you can use the drop-down variable list and select the custom question variable. In this example, it was the age of the client. You can automatically include others as attendees by including their email addresses, and this can include automated transcription services you may wish to use with online meetings, like Firefly. If you would like to collect a payment during scheduling, connect a payment provider here. By default, your client will be taken to a G Reminders standard thank you page after scheduling. But you can also redirect your client to other content. You can include a URL to anywhere on the web, including your own website, or you can pass data from the scheduling form to Google Forms, Jot Forms, or even allow clients to upload documents and files immediately after booking using Dropbox or other cloud services. Finally, you have the option to show or hide this event on your scheduling page. Finish by clicking on Create. You're now ready for your clients to schedule appointments with you. So let's set up a couple of reminders. Under Reminders on the menu on the left, select Client Reminders. 
Click on Settings and choose the hours you would like reminders to be sent out. Then be sure that Write Back Status Confirmation is selected. We'll be using that in a moment. Select a new client reminder template. A default 24-hour SMS reminder that includes the details of the appointment and a request for your client to confirm their appointment is already set up and ready to go. You can create a nickname for this reminder if you wish. We'll also set up a second reminder with a condition. To send a reminder only to those clients who have failed to confirm their appointments, move the criteria slider to the right and create the statement, Event Status is Unconfirmed. Then select a time for when you would like this reminder to be sent. In this example, two hours before the appointment. Create another nickname if you wish and then click on Create. Now we have two reminders set up to go out to clients who book their appointments with us. Let's customize the booking calendar page. Click on Look and Feel. Upload a pre-made banner that's approximately 1000 by 200 pixels. You can also change the text and button colors on your page if you wish. Let's see what it looks like and give our new online scheduling app a try. Click on View My Booking link. That looks good. This is where all your events will be available for your clients to choose from. We'll click on the event we just created. Choose a date and time. Fill out the form, including the custom question we created and schedule. It appears almost instantly on our Google or Outlook calendar and you can see all the information is included. Back in G Reminders, go to the main screen by clicking on the G Reminders logo and you'll see the appointment we just scheduled. Click on it and you'll see the two reminders that are queued up. If the client confirms after the first reminder, the way we have this set up, the second reminder will not be sent. The only thing left to do is share your link with others. Under the Share My Link menu, watch this short video for ideas on how and where to share your link. You're all set. If you would like help setting up your events and reminders, just request a short one-on-one -on -one system setup session with one of our customer success team members. We're always glad to help. Happy scheduling!